long how long do you see yourself doing this for? You've been doing this since 1980? Yeah, no, amazing. 43 huh? years. Crazy. You know, here's the funny thing. I I enjoy it, you know. I feel like I'm still doing it as well as I did it before. Uh, I have a, you know, my role is such that the things that are required of me, and I have a very specific view of what's required of a, a commentator, and and the Showtime way of doing things is the way I like to do boxing. So I, I in terms of doing that specific job, it, you know, I know all the right things to do still, and I prepare uh, as diligently as I ever did, maybe more so. I, I'm going to say I probably prepare even more now because, and I'm going to be honest with it, right? I don't want to have broadcasts where somebody says, well, you know, he lost the fastball, right? You know, the guy lost his fastball. He isn't quite have it anymore. You know, he's not paying attention. He's not doing the right thing. I don't, I, I, as long as I do this for however long, I don't want that to happen. Uh, and if it is happening, it would be a sign to me to stop doing it. I, you know, I, I would like to do it for a couple more years. Um, I enjoy doing it. I, I, I love the process. I love the process of preparation even. Uh, and I love the process of doing it. Um, I enjoy the group of people I'm doing it with immensely, uh, both in front of and behind the camera. And I love the sport of boxing. If you love what you're doing, it, it, it isn't work. So, uh, you know, just it keep really doing isn't. it and, as yeah. long as you're enjoying it. Yeah, yeah really isn't. Uh, you know, so, yeah, that's why I would, uh, I'd love to continue for a little while longer. Yeah. Uh, what do you make of the current state of, of boxing? I, I feel like, now fights take a little longer than they used to back <clears throat> in the day. Yeah. Also, a lot of times we don't get fights we want due to yes. promotional network <clears throat> issues. And yeah, sure. although those things did happen in the past, I feel like it's been magnified probably since like 2000, like 10, 11, like sometime around there. So, so what, yeah. what do you make of the current state of boxing and, and, and the future of boxing as well? Well, the product that boxing is putting out there is pretty good. <clears throat> it, and, and I'm going to separate this into two categories because it needs to be. Women's boxing, which is gaining traction, mm -hmm. is as good as it could possibly be at this moment. Every single match gets made that puts the best women out there against the best women. Somehow, magically, that's, that side of the sport managed to, just to conquer all the demons that exist in the male side, okay? So that's one thing. <clears throat> but of course, the women don't command as much attention as the men, but are constantly getting that on a higher level. Mm -hmm. in, on the male side, they're... The actual product of boxing <clears throat> in the last couple of years has been, in my mind, very good. And this year, tremendous. There have been so many great fights. And I'm saying that not as a cheerleader for boxing, just an honest statement. We've had, we've had really, really <clears throat> good fights. <clears throat> now, you make the point that getting the, the fights that people want to see has been more difficult. And it has been more difficult because of the you know, the, 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 all those promotional and network and uh, other ties that make it hard. <clears throat> and, and that's always the bugaboo for boxing. You know, that's always the thing, even going back to the day of, of, of the Don Kings and Bob Arams ruling the world along with main events or whatever. It wasn't always, we, we, we see all those great fights, fights being made and mostly they were, but that wasn't always so easy either. But now it's become, you know, it's become more difficult. And, and the casual sports media, there's always a poster kid for boxing, not making that fight. Ergo, there's no great fights in boxing. So perfect example is Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford is one of those poster kids, right? That fight still hasn't been made. Hopeful that it gets made in the next couple of months. Uh, they're negotiating again. We hope it's going to happen. Everybody does in boxing. But 
<clears throat> there was a Mayweather Pacquiao was that was that fight for a while, uh, you know. And so what the casual sports media does is it it uses it takes one thing and um, and conflates it. Uh, and they've done that about boxing all the time. <clears throat> boxing is much more of a niche sport right now that or is more of a niche sport now than it was in the 80s or in the beginning of the 90s. Middle 90s, the boxing started to not be covered, the late 90s, boxing started to not be covered as much by the mainstream sports media. That was the catalyst that started the sport becoming more of a niche sport. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> you know, if a tree falls in a forest, did it really fall if no one sees it? There were great fights in the early 2000s between Pacquiao and Marquez and, you know, uh, uh, and Estra or um, Morales, you know, and Barrera. I mean, that, that group of fights, as good as what the Four Kings did, <clears throat> but it didn't, and it, but it, it was on a, a premium sports network, HBO. It didn't get the kind of coverage from other, from like I was at ESPN at the time. I couldn't get them, couldn't get Sports Center to cover those fights. You know, I said, I'm in Vegas. You'd say, well, you know, we can't. The, we can't, uh, you know, break into the coverage or whatever. So we'll just do a line or, a line or two on it. We, we won't be able to do real coverage. And that was where, <clears throat> you know, it, was, it wasn't just ESPN. The newspapers were starting to, to be less uh, important, uh, and they didn't cover the sport. So the average sports fan didn't know who the boxers were, and they couldn't create stars, um, and that's been the issue. However – Boxing has gotten a little more mainstream coverage in the last several years. And with that has at least come a rene renewed interest in the sport. And, uh, and the product is great. So I think boxing has kind of found its niche where it needs to be if the powers that be can continue to make really good fights.